Hello friends, today I am going to solve with good problem number 6, chick chack conversation. So in this problem we are given a string S and an integer number of rows. So um, the string S is basically spread in a chick chack order. So basically here the given string, this string is uh, in a jigsaw order let's look at this p a y right so the p a y and then we go around to p a and then l i s h and so on so that's a jigsaw order and what we need to do is we need to find a new string such that the string is formed by going in a row by row order so that would be p a h m a p l s i i g y i r so now that we know what we need to find let's look at this example here and see how we could solve this problem so here we are given this string and the number of rows is four so what we do is we form a jig jack um order of these just for the visuals we are not actually going to do that for our while we code it so now let's start from index zero and if you just look at this jig check order and we need to form a string starting from a uh, character p so it starts at this character and the next character a uh, next letter in the string should be this character right that is i which is at index here so between these two indices how how do we find this index after we have added this character to our resulting string so basically what we need to do is we need to find the number of characters between these two uh, characters right in this string um, and that would be um that would be basically the um number of rows so how do we find the total number of characters between these two that would be equals to number of rows um mine twice of number of rows minus two and why is that let's just look here so how many number of rows do we have here we have four rows right and if we just look at it click uh closely we would know notice that um each row has two characters so this row has a two character this row has two characters right except the first row and the last row so that means we are taking two character count for each of the rows so we are actually counting this one and this one as well and then by deducting two we are um, negating these two characters so basically that would mean these many characters are between this index and this uh, character at this index so what's the index at of this position well, basically it's zero one two three four five and six and what's the number of count here in this section so that would be two times four is equals to eight minus two is equals to six so well yes uh, zero plus six gives us six so we found our this index similarly to find the index for this character we are going to add plus six to the index of this character that would be six plus six is equals to twelve so six we have a seven eight nine um ten and this would be eleven and this is twelve and is twelve and g is at index 13 so well we found our next character right so we are done with our first row now how about second row and third row and all the rows in between we have two characters in each of the section right on that row so what we need is we need this character so what are we going to do is we started from row zero so at row zero we add a plus one 
and where we reach is a row one and that would be the index of the for, of the next character so that is what we are going to add and now to find this character we need again the number of characters that are in between these so that we found the index right because we already know the index of this one so we need to um, know how many characters do we need to pass be before we hop on to this character so so this is at index 1 and this is at index 5 here 5 right so the number of characters as we just look is equals to uh, 4 counting this character as well so that would be equals to 4 so 1 plus 4 gives us 5 now how do we find that value well that's easy enough so once we have these character this value that is number of characters in each section okay i'll represent it with n s um, the number of character between any two um, the number bit of difference between any two of these characters would be equals to um, number of characters uh, number of rows minus two times the current row that we are in so current row is equals to one here and the number of rows we have is equals to four so that would be equals to number of uh, four minus two times one which will be equals to two okay my bad it's not the number of row but it's the number of characters in the section so the number of characters in section minus 2 times a row is equals to 6 minus 2 times 1 which is equals to um which is equals to 4 right that's 4 so we have our four characters no now how do how did we actually find this value so what are we doing is um we are going to find we are actually finding the difference between this and this right so we are actually eliminating all the characters other than these two and and basically we are eliminating this as well so we need to find a number of characters okay cleaning it up cool so what we are doing is we are fine to find these numbers we need to uh, disregard this and this so that is we are in the total the number of characters in this section we are reducing the number of characters that we have found so far in this row minus times two so that would be these two characters right so that's how we find this value and then once we have find the value we are going to add it to the index of a that is equals to one so that gives us index five which has the character l and we add l to our index to our resulting string and then we keep on doing it until we have reached the end of the string so now let's start coding our solution so what we also need to check is if the number of rows is equals to one if that's equals to one then all the characters would be in the same row right that would form the same string so we are going to return the string if the number of rows is equals to one now let's get the number of characters in the string and let's define our result string and uh, loop over each of the row starting from zero so for each row um, our index would start from the row right so let i is equals to row and then for each of the values in the okay it's not a for loop it's actually a while loop here because we are going to add the strings as long as we have um 
not excited the value n of the string so we are going to add 6 to this index and then we get this index so we add a 6 we get this index and then when we add a 6 to that we exceed the number of counts num length of the string right and that is when we um we break the loop and go to the next row so that is why while i is less than n which is the length of the string we keep on um, adding to our result um, the string at index i and that would be in the case where we are at the first row and the last row but what if we are not in the first row and the last row so if row is not equals to zero and row is not equals to the last row then we are we need to find the uh, number of characters between these two right that is the num difference between these two so that would be okay before that we also need the number of sections how are we going to find the next character in the first row so um let characters in a section b is equals to number of rows times two minus two all right so that is how we find this value and then we define let characters in between equals to um, characters in our section minus two times the row that we are in as we did here for this one we take took our characters in the section and we reduced two times the row right so that's what we are going to do now that would give us the character the next index the second character so the second character or the second index is equals to um i plus right so that's equals to the index plus this one plus the number of characters in between and then to our result we add that character right at this index so that's it for the first row and the last row we only do this thing but for the rows all in between we add the string um, as well as we add the second character and then um, to move on to the next row what we're what are, uh, to move on to the next okay we move from this to this and then to move to the next section we add the number of characters in that section right so i plus equals to number of characters in the section and finally we are going to return our result all right let's try to run our code okay so one big silly mistake i made is we are checking row um, so row should be checked with the number of rows so another mistake that we are getting here undefined because we are uh, trying to find this index by adding um adding a, an, a positive integer to the value of i and this could actually uh, lead us to the value that would be that could be greater than the length of the string right and if that is the case then we will be returned and undefined so that is why we need to check if the second index is less than n great let's submit our code now cool so the space complexity for this solution is um, o of one it's constant and the time complexity is uh, since we have the number of rows so that would be number of rows times since we are looping over each of the character so that would be basically it's 
O of N because we are uh, going through each of the character, right? Just if you just look at it, we are going characters by character each time. So that would be O of N.